testing, testing. That's my. That's like the best way to test. Um. This is one of my most popularly requested videos, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. This video is going to show you guys that really, it really doesn't take that much to make a successful YouTube channel because I hear a lot of you guys out there wonder like, you know, how much camera equipment do I need? Like, what do I need? What kind of camera stuff do I need? I'm, I'm a minimalist. Like, this is, this is it right here, aside from the tripod and the camera that you're watching this through, but I'm gonna put this down because I'm tired of holding this. And behind me, you see the other stars of my channel. The uh, Project Miata, which I hope you guys saw the recent video of me putting on the new NK wheels. They look amazing. And then here, you have the Pooparoo. This one always breaks, so it always gets me views because it breaks down all the freaking time. Today, I'm going to be making a video showcasing my camera equipment that I use. And this is going to cover everything that I use from start to finish. Every single thing that I use, no matter what video it is. Now, the camera that you guys are seeing me through right now is a Canon T3i. Yes, a T3i. A lot of you guys think that I use some special camera like a like a Mark like a 7D Mark II or even a 70D or an 80D. No, I don't have a special camera. I mean, this thing doesn't even have autofocus by itself. I literally have to well, it does have autofocus. I just have to continually halfway press the shutter button. So, yeah, for those of you guys who are discouraged and think you need like some like several thousand dollar cameras to start a YouTube channel, you really don't because this camera is like two or three hundred bucks right now and it gets the job done everything that you ever see so if it's in car or if I'm holding the camera anything you see on the exception of being outside of a car like hanging off a car this is the camera that I use for everything on my channel now to show you guys the camera that I'm actually using because I don't want you guys to have to stare at me the whole time I'm actually going to show you with my SJ cam it's like a miniature GoPro type thing and I'll talk about this one in a second so there you go you see my T3i Pretty awesome. I've got a polarized, a little like polarized filter or something like that on there, and then I've got a uh, so I've got a 10 to 18 lens on there, and uh, that gets the job done. That's how it gets such a wide angle. And then I've got a Manfrotto. This this tripod's a piece of crap. I'm not even gonna tell you what it is because it's a piece of crap. I need to replace it really, really badly. But uh, it's a Manfrotto tripod. Aside from that, I have a couple other lenses that I use. One of my most prized possessions and one of my favorite lenses that I really don't get to use too often is my 50 millimeter. It is a fixed 50 millimeter. It gets some crazy deep shots and it gets, there's so much depth to these. It's, it's one of my favorite lenses. I just don't get to use it a lot because it's very deep. I'll show you. There you go. So here's a super close look at my ugly face. I'm standing the same distance away from the camera right now. So this is my 50 millimeter lens. Now also, one that I really don't get to use very often is my telephoto lens. I actually have a 75 to 300 lens. You guys wanna see that one? I'm so sorry you guys have to see my face this close. All right, so I've gotta stand a little bit further away, but this is my 75 to 300. You're at 75 right now, and to get even more close, up close and personal to my ugly face. Okay, you guys are, okay, this is too, this is weird. This is real weird. Much better. Whew. That's my 75 to 300 telephoto lens. I rarely ever, 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 I think I've used this like once, maybe twice in videos before. So yeah, that's going to do it for the Canon T3i. Now, we're gonna go ahead and move on to uh, some other cameras. Now, for those of you who actually watch my car reviews, you'll notice that I have cameras on the outside of the car, as well as this one inside the car. And actually, before I move on to that, the way that I hold my T3i up in the car is this little flaccid wiener looking thing. Um, it is a double suction cup. It is made by Delkin. If you go to Amazon and you literally just search double suction cup for DSLR, I'm pretty sure this exact one will pop up. But anyways, for outside of the car, my other two cameras that I primarily use for the channel are two different GoPros. Actually, it's one of them is a GoPro and the other one, you guys actually have never been able to tell the difference between the quality of the video and that is my SJ cam. Voila! This little dude right here, it's amazing. This is probably one of my favorite cameras, even though it really is not the same quality as the GoPro. It does have 1080p at 30 frames a second. Like I said, it is an SJ cam. There that is for you right there. And these actually, like, it comes with a little LCD screen on the back, so you can see my ugly face again. Um, but these are actually, so what I like about these is this is pretty much the exact same thing as a GoPro. So you go to 6mega.com and find one of these. These are $120. My GoPro was $400. This camera comes with accessories and it comes with everything basically ready to go for $120. And actually, if you go to 6mega.com and check these things out, at checkout you can use Shanks 10 
as a checkout coupon. So that's S H A N K S 10. One word, no spaces. You can get 10% off of this camera and all your other stuff that you're getting as well. So aside from that, I've actually wanted a GoPro session for a while, but I didn't get one just because I would rather just spend 100 bucks and get that one right there that I just showed you. But this is my GoPro Hero 3. This is actually what I really started my YouTube channel. So this one has a lot of sentimental value to me. I literally started doing all of my vlogs with this camera right here and this battery, this little battery pack. So I've got an extended battery pack for it. It is, uh, so it's the Hero 3, not the Hero 3 Plus, it's the Black Edition. So uh, it does do 4K. This is the first model that ever did 4K. So I was hyped. I, whenever I bought this, I was really excited to have it. So anyways, it's a cool camera. It gets the job done. But again, like I said, it's very expensive for really, not really any necessary reason whatsoever. Now, as we all know, these styles of cameras have a lot of accessories that either come with them or that you can do. So I'm not going to sit there and tell you every single thing that I have because that would take such a long time. But I do have a few mounts, like I have a sticky mount that goes to my, my racing helmet, all that kind of stuff. The way that I actually suck these to the cars that I review is, boom. So for each camera, I actually have the, they each have their own suction cup mount. This is the one that came with the SJ cam and I have never had a problem with it. And this is the one that costed like a million dollars that I had to buy for the GoPro. So um, yeah, they're both about equally priced. They both stick onto cars very, very well as long as you have a clean surface, so yeah. That is what I use for the outside of the car. Okay, so now that we have gone over the cameras that I use, I want to go over the accessories that I use along with them, such as a microphone. A lot of you guys will notice that I use a microphone while I'm driving. Boom! So this is an Edutige ETM-008. This is honestly the best bang for your buck you can ever get. I've used this since I started doing in-car vlogs. It's actually compatible with a GoPro if you get the USB accessory attached with it. It's like 20 bucks or something like that. But this just clips right to you and it is a unidirectional mic. I actually just got this, the little fuzz cover, because it actually pops a lot whenever I'm trying to speak. But uh, fun story, Edutige actually recently just found my videos and they actually gave me a few samples of their products. So this is from them. Thank you again so much for it, to Edutech for for treating me right. It's just really cool having them come back and say, "Hey, you know, this big channel is using our products. We want to we want to give back to them." So, really cool. The Edutech ETM 008 is the mic that I use for everything inside of a car because it's a unidirectional mic and it only goes towards my mouth. So that's why you don't hear a lot of other stuff aside from me speaking. So I know you guys are actually wanting to probably hear this a little bit. So this a, 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 See? There's really, it's, it's great, it's good stuff. I love this mic. This is my favorite mic ever. I can just stick it right here and just talk. <laughs> just talk all day long and it's just... Okay, anyways, so that's this one. Now this little guy I actually have not been able to use yet. This is an Edutige ETM, I believe it's an 005. I believe this one is the 005, but I, I could be wrong there, so don't, don't hate me if I'm wrong here. But uh, this is actually the omnidirectional version of the one I just showed you. And this one is actually a little bit less expensive on uh, Edutige's site. And I'm not paid by Edutige to say this, I'm just, I, I absolutely love their mics. So uh, yeah, this, it's got the, I've got the same little fuzz ball on top of it, but like I said, it is a unidirectional mic. And we're actually gonna plug it in. I've actually never used this before, so we're gonna plug it in and see how it sounds. This is my Edutige. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this kind of thing. This is the ETM, like I said, I think it was the 005, but it is the omnidirectional instead of the unidirectional. So it actually picks up audio from everywhere instead of one direction. So I can hold it here, 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 and basically get the same result every single time. So there you go. Those are the two microphones that I use. Now, the T3i microphone, which is what I'm using right now, is uh, it's very directional, so it's nice. Unlike the 70D, where you usually, like TJ Hunt, he has this giant little wiener mic that goes over the top of the mic, because it pretty much he has to have it, because the 70D has very, very bad, it's, it's more omnidirectional than unidirectional. So I use the T3i mic whenever I'm just vlogging regularly, because I really don't need an external mic that points towards me. Now moving on, I have a couple more accessories that I want to show you guys. This is actually the slider that you see in all of my reviews. So all the panning shots, all the panning shots that I do for all the reviews and stuff like that, this is the slider. Now, I really don't have very many good things to say about this one. It, honestly, it's it's just kind of cheap and crappy. It is, I think it's called the 
ND slider. It does the job, it gets the job done. However, it's kind of just crappy. Like it, it just, it catches all the time. I'm really not too impressed with it. The little things that guide it have fallen out. It's just, it's not the greatest slider in the world. The problem is with sliders is it's like you spend $100 on something like this or you spend like $400 getting the right thing. So all this is going to be updated soon. I'm, I'm hoping I just, uh, I need to get a lot better equipment. I need to get a better tripod first because I'm surprised actually, I'm gonna knock on wood, um, that this has not actually fallen down because usually it just like collapses by itself. It's just really stupid. And then one more thing. Now if you guys have watched me, Casey Neistat, TJ Hunt, basically any vlogger on YouTube, you've seen these anal bead looking things. I, honestly, that's the only way to describe this. So I'm sorry, it's kind of crass, but uh, yeah. This is the this is a gorilla pod made by Joby. Now I actually don't have the uh, the head for it. I need to buy that. Actually, I'm gonna now that I remember that I'm actually gonna go inside and buy that right now. This is awesome because it literally attaches to anything and everything. It's actually you can break it down. So like if you don't want you know if you don't want that in there, you can actually break it down and you know make it smaller or whatnot. So or you can add on to it. It's pretty cool. Um, it, it honestly it, it makes it great because you know when you're vlogging the camera, you're usually holding it like right here. Now if I'm holding this, it makes it up here. So it's it just gives you a better angle with vlogging, and it also it just makes you look less weird, I think. But also I don't know. These are just some of the weirdest looking things I think I've ever owned. That is going to be it for the accessories. Now so you guys know, I use fairly expensive SD card in all of my cameras just because I really don't want to lose any of my data and the more expensive card that you have typically the better that it writes and also the better it saves and retains its memory um, and less less can go wrong supposedly so again knock on wood <laughs> but yeah so I usually use uh, no less than 32 gigabytes so anyways that is going to cover all of my equipment, so you answer that for me. Does my equipment suck? I don't know. It's not the greatest. I have a lot of stuff because I've accumulated a lot of this. Most of this stuff I've accumulated over the past like year. Take it from me, it really does not take a lot for you to actually start a YouTube channel. Like I said, I started a YouTube channel without a microphone with just a GoPro. Just a GoPro. So you know what, you wanna start something cheap, go buy one of those SJ cams, stick it to the roof of your car, and start doing vlogs. Or whatever you wanna do, it doesn't matter. But anyways, like I said, check out 6mega.com, I'll put the link for that in the description, uh, because it's a sick camera for 100 bucks. Like I said, you can use the Shanks 10 at checkout so that you can get 10% off of your purchase. So there's that, and uh, yeah, so if you guys have any questions for me, leave a comment in the comment section. Also, press that like button, because if you don't, I'm gonna come to your house, I'm gonna fart in your nose. So that is going to conclude all of that. Thank you guys so incredibly much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next video. Peace out. I missed the camera. I missed the camera. I'm such a doof. I've got to stop him just. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I lasted this whole time. It just now did it. <laughs> nice. And you've already seen my tripod. How? That is a freaking wasp. Get away from me. <laughs> That's a yellow jacket. I don't like those. Okay. Let's let's go ahead and try this again.